What is going on, fish heads? Jen Cravasi at Jekyll Bates. It's Sunday, August the 30th, 2020. Hi there. Um, it is fairly early on a Sunday morning. Back in the shop as usual. I've got a bunch of stuff to spray later on after I finish doing this video. I've got a pile of baits here on the, uh, on the finishing desk that I want to show off to you guys this morning and kind of give you some ideas. Um, maybe some some new pattern ideas for yourselves but before I do that I do need to give a quick shout out to Tim over at Crossroad Tackle I was in a bind I had a large order of wake baits that had been stuck at the border for a couple of months um, they have finally started to move but I had orders that I needed to get out that were way 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 overdue so I was able to reach out to Tim he got me uh, he, he sold me everything that he had left in, in supply for the one um, so I'm very grateful and he shot them to me in a couple of days and he sent me some goodies, some play toys. So I'm going to goof around and paint these up and see how they swim. And yeah, sort of a military thing, trust but verify. Even though there are a million good reviews out there on different products, I will swim everything myself to make sure things are good to go before I will sell you guys anything. So rest assured that that is part of the process at Jekyll Bates and you know, there's just very few bread and butter things that I keep in stock anymore. I'm kind of making that shift over to, and I've been talking about this, kind of making that shift over to, uh, to brand name repaints and, and different things. So lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff happening. This is a behemoth. And I'm also excited to swim this as well. S super deep diver, super heavy. Um, I would guess over an ounce maybe. Somewhere between uh, like seven eighths of an ounce and an ounce and a half. Um, that's why they call it the behemoth. And it is a big one. Very cool. You can hear the rattle. And then there was one. There's, he sent me a couple of goodies that I wasn't expecting. I was just expecting the order that I paid for. And thank you so much for getting them to me fast. But I am going to show you one more thing. Um, I'm kind of bummed that they shot spray on this already. Um, I would imagine that it came this way, but the, these are dragonfly wings and this is a dragonfly. So something unique, kind of a finessier topwater, if that's a word, or if that's just a fictionary word, it's probably a bit of both, but it is finessier. My biggest issue is durability of this plastic. It's very thin and I would imagine if a, a large enough fish came up at it, um, it's not hopefully you'll catch the fish because it's probably not going to make it longer than that but it is very cool so if you're looking for that one good bite I'm going to put this thing together and paint it up and see how it swims and it it's cool it's a really cool little dragonfly uh, I have not tank tested it it's been sitting um, since he sent me the order earlier last week but Tim thank you so so much it's always a pleasure and I appreciate your kindness Everybody in the world was out of that wake bait too. So, but yeah, um, this is the circuit board lip wake bait in a hot magenta violet rat with hot neon pink eyes, just cause. A little bit of fluorescent orange on the belly. And then I have a traditional brownish yellowish kind of a fall leaf these are the sewer rats and uh, I've got an order that is uh, going out on a large order of the bigger build thicker build plastic those, uh, those evergreen replicas so there is that we have a toxic crappie old school Jekyll Bates and I, I talk, I've, I've made few, maybe three or four videos that talk about different types of meshes and wraps that I frequently use. This is one of them. It's that Offray metallic wired ribbon. Um, you can get it right at Walmart. You can get it Hobby Lobby. You can get it online. There's a link below that'll take you to, uh, I think, an Amazon affiliate that'll get it for you. This is that Toxic Crappie. the extra sexy shad and you can see I've done a light spray of gold got those pectoral fins on 
These are the eyes that I like to talk about. Let's see if we can get those in focus for you guys. I'm gonna touch the camera here real quick. There we go. And that's freshwater mother of pearl eyes, freshwater pearl eyes. I think mother of pearl is oceanic pelagic. And you can really see that copper gold against the blue. Extra sexy shad. This is a Nile tilapia. Also a cool little pattern. Definite fish catcher. Probably more southern than northern. But I would imagine it, the, the pattern is going to catch pretty much anywhere. But there are a fairly decent concentration in Arkansas, southern Arkansas, Texas, Florida, your lower 48. We've got that pro blue with that foil behind it. Jetson eyes. That's my take on the pro blue. Something a little bit different. The discus. The traditional red discus. Arkansas River Crawl. And you can tell these just came off the clear coat rack. Dragon Eyes. These Dragon Eyes are available. I know I just did a video on eyes, but these I don't think I showcased. You can get these right down at Bass Pro. Your local Bass Pro in the fly shop. The White River Fly Shop will carry them. You can get them online as well, um, but it's an excuse to get out of the house, take a walk, stroll around the store, and... Uh, go check out some cool fish in their aquariums. So your local Bass Pro Cabela's nearest you will carry these dragon eyes. This is not part of that order, but it's um, a little bit heavier of a blade bait, which I love using in the winter time. This is a, a good little swimmer. I have tested this out a little bit. I tested it out before I put paint on it. It now has a little bit of bluegill-ish type paint and those downward looking eyes. People have been asking where to get them. AliExpress folks, you can find these eyes in three colors on AliExpress, wicked cheap. I don't have a link right offhand because it's been a while since I've purchased them from there, but they are, again, you got to be willing to wait the time out if you want it super cheap. There's probably some distributors that sell them here in the States. I'm not 100% sure because I have not bought them in a while, but occasionally the urge comes over me to use them. They are traditionally found on the Megabast style stuff or from Megabast themselves. Um, or on uh, IMA products, as I've seen them on some IMA stuff as well. But yeah, AliExpress has got them. And I think they come in cards of 50 or 100. And it's, I mean, it's stupid cheap. It's like a buck for a card of 100. So, But you just have to wait for like a month or two months or plus to get them. So if you need them faster, get them from the States. If you want them cheaper, get them from Ali. And, I, and again, I, I don't, I, I love to support small business here in the States. I do, so if you can get them faster, support your local businesses, but if you're looking for the absolute best price, you can find a lot of stuff at AliExpress. This is the Walking Dead Zombie Blue, internal guts and heart and stuff, and stuff. Got to have and stuff with that. Your depth perception is there. And these are the glass eyes that I was showing you guys on the last video. Good for open water. They do stick out just a little bit. You can see that. They'll stick out a little bit. But it's a good, it's a good look. This is on that foiled lipless from Scheltz. The Imperial Orange Craw. Neon Green Eyes from Lure Parts Online. And that's, you guys have seen that before. That's going out the door. Um, the Wildfire Shad. 
And it's just that your basic green, yellow, and orange fluorescence over a black base wrapped with shad dot and the pinwheel eyes. I don't know if we can get a close up enough for those eyes, but those are really cool pinwheel eyes. And then we got these, 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 these. Oh, I forgot about this one. This is cool too. This is that 120 foiled. And uh, my take on a pro blue, a different kind of a take on a pro blue. Anarchy Model UK stencil. This is the snakeskin stencil, the micro. There's a, there's a couple different sizes that he puts out. This is the micro version. And in Createx, it's a Maui blue. It, there's a similar color that's on the Wicked line, which is, it's the same company. For those of you that didn't know, Wicked and Createx is one in the same company. Wicked colors are just a little bit upscale. It's an upgraded version of the Createx, and generally Wicked is already pre-reduced. It, it shoots a little better. Um, I think the pigments that they use in the Wicked are supposed to be more light fast than Createx, but it's all light fast. It's just a, a higher caliber and a higher price, but same company. And then we've got these. These are the Triton Baby Bull Shads from Mike Buca and Catch Co. The collaboration. And they are 3.75 inches. They are slow sink, weigh about half an ounce. And I now have them available at www.jekyllbaits.com in eight gorgeous custom patterns from army green gill to a summer gill to this red breast sunfish lots of detailing baby striper not baby shark do 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 peacock cichlids one of these is going out to Mike Jensen in Florida. The other is headed to Chicago. KBS, KBS Diamond Strength, two coats. Two coats, two coats. I don't wanna weigh this down or affect how it swims. If anything, it's just going to drop it a little bit quicker. But the paint and the um, clear coat is consistent with the weight distribution that's already on there. Pretty, pretty baits. And the Juvenile Tilapia. Arguably either a Mozambique or a different version. It's not the Nile, although I did throw a little bit of blue and purple pop in it just to kind of dress it up. But this is your traditional juvenile tilapia that you would find across here in the south. And that is all the news that's fit to print this morning. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. Next one is going to be a spray session. I have got the, um, the winner from the aquarium book page pick. So we're going to be doing that spotted Danio. And I'm excited to do that. And I will see you guys on that video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.